This lecture is part of a Udemy course entitled Design of Wastewater Treatment Plants for On-Site Projects. You will learn how to fully design a treatment plant for small to medium scale projects. You can find an 80% discount promo link in the description box. Taking care of your septic tank and any other wastewater treatment plant is very fundamental for the performance of this system. So when you open a septic tank, so this is the manhole, when you open this manhole, first of all, it is very dangerous to access the septic tank if you're not a professional and if you are not uh, well equipped because in this septic tank we have very dangerous gases like methane, like hydrogen sulfide and, and you have to hire a professional that has the right equipment, a proper ventilation system before accessing the septic tank. So when we open this manhole we have to look for, first of all, the odor. Odors should not be extremely unpleasant. Of course, we have odors, but it must not be extremely unpleasant. So, if you stir the content, of course, the odor will be a lot stronger. Why it must not be extremely unpleasant? Because here we have the formation of a crust made by the oil and scum and it provides some sealing to the system. Also, you must pay attention not to have insects. There should not be too many flying insects. So these parameters are a sign of a good working septic tank. Now let's check the do not. A very important thing, not to put disinfectants in your septic tank. Why? Because as we have already said, in the septic tank we have the proliferation of good bacteria, of good anaerobic bacteria that are responsible of the anaerobic process and lowering uh, some levels of BOD. So we don't want to kill this good bacteria and if you add disinfectants to your septic tank, this might kill these good bacteria and stop your septic tank working. So we are killing the biological process within the septic tank. Also, do not use additives in your septic tank. Sometimes you can find in the market some additives that are being sold to enhance the performance of the septic tanks. No need for these additives. The septic tank can work properly by the proliferation of the natural bacteria, of these good bacteria that can deal with the waste in the tank. Also, when emptying your septic tank, do not wash it or disinfect it. This is very important to keep the good bacteria within the septic tank. Also, this septic tank is only designed to deal with the domestic sewage or the domestic wastewater. It is not designed for groundwater infiltration or rainwater infiltration. Otherwise, it will get flooded. Also, don't throw any non-biodegradable materials like the disposable diapers, sanitary products, plastic. Do not throw any biodegradable material within the septic tank. Also, don't pour any chemical product, anything like petrol, diesel, oil, paint, paint thinner, pesticides, antifreeze, or other chemicals into the system. Now, something very important you have to do at least every three years is emptying your septic tank or dislodging the septic tank. So we have to remove the sludge layer, the liquid, and the scum layer within the septic tank. Please do not wait until your system shows signs of failure or you feel that there is a bad odor or uh, it is being flooded. You have to check the sludge depth 
of your septic tank every year. When it is two-thirds full, you have to call a professional or the municipal office for emptying. Also, very important note, when you empty the tank, you have to keep some active sludge. So keep a small layer of this active sludge in each compartment to maintain a stable treatment process. So you maintain a, a certain level of the good bacteria for the anaerobic process. Now let's see how to check the scum and sludge layer thickness within the septic tank. So you have to take a stick that is metal, in metal or in plastic, that is long enough, and you have to wrap a white cloth or a towel. So as you can see here, you have to wrap a white cloth on this stick. Then you insert the stick in your tank until it touches the bottom, then you remove the stick and you observe the mark in your, on your stick. So this is the scum level depth and this is the sludge layer depth. If the dark layer mark, so this is the sludge level, if it is greater than two thirds of the total depth, then it is the time to empty this septic tank. So this is the, let's say, the yearly check that you have to do to measure the scum and sludge layer. Also, if the scum layer, this scum layer is higher than 20 centimeters, also it's time to empty this septic tank.